welcome to my channel. It's me, Lisa. Today, I'm gonna discuss about how you're gonna prepare your kit for state board practical test. So I will just wanna show you how I prepare my um, kit. This is how I prepare it and fortunately I passed the test. So I just wanna show you how it was being set, have been prepared. So for the first kit, I show you what is the universe of rice. So I have the, I prepared the general supplies with the universal supplies and with the mannequin head. Okay, so everything, this mannequin head had need to have the stand. So for the state board that I did, this stand is actually very good, but sometimes it doesn't work for other people, but for me it works. So if you can bring your tripod, it's a lot better. So this is only how I um, prepare my universal and uh, general supply. For the general supply, actually, I want to show you what's included, how I prepare it, which is the universal supply. I put it in a bag, which has the three bags. It needs to be labeled in English. So the first one is the trash bag. The second is the salt linen bag and to be disinfected bag. So I actually mark it in the front and also at the back and it needs to have a plastic inside so that's how I prepare it but the next one uh, which is I show you the mannequin head it needs to be in a bag and needs to be labeled English and with the stand and with the general supplies actually it doesn't include the towel here but I need to have a towel so you need to use a wipe for Georgia State Board they don't allow aerosol anymore so you just have to use the Clorox wipes and a paper towel and uh, decent um, no sanitizer I'm so sorry so sanitizer it needs to be in a original container and especially the first aid kit need to be the original one you cannot simulate or put it in a small container and label it I don't know it's just my own preference so I rather put it in a or buy an original container for first aid kit to look more professional and I have the water need to be labeled too so and a protective cream so these are all the three bags that i prepare for my uh general supplies and it includes towels too so you need to put it all together in one bag you need to be labeled this client's bag is the first first client and it's with the thermal curling and hair cutting set so I'm not, I'm just gonna show you what's included there. It's just that because I already keep everything and clean, wash, and just show you what's included in a bag, how I labeled it. So this is the first client one. So what's included in this bag, you need to have like four hair cutting bag and for the thermal curling bag. So it needs to be in two separate bag. And then you need to have like four, for the whole client section, you need to use a cloth tape and you need to have a towel. Okay, so I basically like do it this way. So for me, I think I'm just or kind of organized. So I don't want to really mess up things because I kind of like when it comes to tests, I got anxiety and I forget everything. So yes, um, I just label it that way. But if you do it your way, it's okay as long as you you know exactly what to pick and what's included there but it needs to be labeled in english not any other languages i'm asian i'm filipino and i know like i need to put tagalog but no i can't use that i need it need to be in english so the first one for the first client that you have to perform is the thermal curling and what's included in that bag is i put like I use the end paper, I put end paper, but actually you can use a next strip. This is one to use for your, to test your thermal curling, so iron, okay? So your hair clips, you make sure you have a hair clips and 
the hair clips is actually like you can use this one or you can use the one that is clip you know depends on your preference but for the perma curling right iron this is need to be inside of this bag so after you do the complete circle you need to attach the clip it needs to be the pink curl clip so you can have that one included with the hair clip too and then i use a rat tail comb and this is an included on the thermal curling bag which is the rat tail comb because you rat tail comb it's this one i put like two of this because in case i drop so i put two of this and they say oh you need, need to be carbon made so heat protectant you know protector or whatever <laughs> so the next is the yes i think so far that's it that's all i need for the thermocaling bag so you need to put it all in one bag and then the next client will be the hair cutting yeah. so the hair cutting need all you need is a first is the razor you have to put the razor inside and then the shear okay so you can put like one or two shears depend you know, although this is only how you're gonna set your um how you're gonna put everything in a bag so that's how i prepare so everything i'll just put in a one bag which is the client. the second client which is the chemical waving so I have to perform uh the patch test color retouch highlight perm rod and the relaxer so it needs to be all in one bag doesn't matter so you the bag is first i have the towel towels i put like actually two of those because um need to be double draped when you do chemical services and you need a spatula basically this is for the protective cream so when you use to protect the hairline or any um, area for your chemical services you need to use the spatula and put it in your hand and use your hand to protect the clients and then the hair clips so i basically like bring like six of those for spatula actually you can bring like six pieces to ten doesn't matter it's always need to have extra so then the brush applicator so i use this one i use actually the small applicator that is just enough to fit in my bag this is actually very good and the gloves so i brought like six seven eight pairs of gloves because each chemical services i just change my gloves all the time and then comb combs is for chemical services i actually use this because this is like uh, more safe to use because this is plastic for chemical services for state board you don't have to use uh, metal because you're dealing with chemicals so with chemical there's always a chemical reaction if you use a metal for like if you do color or highlight but that's for state board here in Georgia that's what we use and then we have the 